Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. Okay, so I really, I received a letter from a lady called Hasni, and she wanted to duplicate this effect here, and she was having a bit of a problem with it. So obviously you've got two clips, and then there's a, a diagonal across, and then this one here as well. So you've got three clips playing with a white border. And she said, oh, I don't know how to do this, can you help me? And I said, yeah, no worries, I'll make you a quick tutorial. And then I thought... I might as well share it with everybody in case you also have issues. So let's drop in some clips onto our timeline, some uh, overlay tracks. Okay, so I didn't really prepare much in the way of footage, so I'm just using some old footage. Okay, so just resizing it, just, you know, making it looking everything tidy. Okay, so the, uh, there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can use the picture-in-picture -picture filter, but I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to do this. So um, double-click, go into the advanced motion, just click on it, and this will launch the customization panel. And from here, it's very, very simple. First thing I need to do is resize this clip. So X and Y, I'm going to change to 50%. Because this is linked, I just need to change one of them and it will do both at the same time. And now I want to place this one, say, at the bottom right-hand corner. So position X, 50, which makes it go to all the way to the right. And because I want to go down, I actually have to go negative 50, which brings it right to the bottom. If I wanted to go to the top, it'll just be 50. And now I'm going to add my border, say, three pixels. And then while my keyframe is still red, I'm going to right-click on that, copy and paste it all right, and then press OK. So we're done with the first one, and it's just repeating the second one the exact same way. So advanced motion, resize to 50, and then I'm going to position it 50 uh, to the right and 50 going up. So I don't need to be neg negative because it's going up. And then I'm just adding those three pixels again on my border, and then copy and paste to all right, and press OK. And uh, that's it. We're done. See how quick it was and very simple. And if I bring in the original one here that she wanted to duplicate, you can see it's the same. Now you can resize this to whatever size you want. If you, she was trying to do it with the crop filter and what the crop filter will do is it will crop it and then zoom in on it to fill the frame again. And that means you're gonna lose resolution because you're actually zooming in on it and it's not gonna work. This way you're keeping the resolution as whatever it is, 1920 by 1080 and just all you're redoing is just resizing it, not cropping it, okay? If you're listening, Hasni, that is probably why you are having issues with quality. All right, let's uh, keep moving. Let's do the other effect as well. And let's bring in two clips. Now, when we do this type of effect, we really need to have this set up properly as far as the way we record our footage. Because this clip here, I'm sitting in the middle, when I create the diagonal, it's not going to make this clip move over. The only way I could do that is resize that clip, like zoom in on it, and then we're going to lose quality again. So put some effort into it. Record yourself right to the left and right to the right, and that will work a lot better. Now I'm going to have to use the Boris Graffiti because I'm going to create a mask. So I'm going to click and drag this onto my overlay track, double click, Customs Filter, Advanced Mode. So here we are. So we don't need this. I'm going to click on it once. So we can see this is now a yellow outline. And I can just use the delete key on my keyboard. And that'll get rid of that text track. Because we're not using a text track. And we're going to create a spline track or a mask. So go up here. So add spline media. And then just basically click here and click here. So we create the diagonal line. And then down one. You can, If you really wanted to, you can click again. But there's no need for it. Now, in case yours isn't green... Just go into the path here, go into the fill tab, and you can change here, fill color, right? Make sure it's on, and then just click on it here, and then choose this type of green, because we're gonna to have to chroma key this out. And then that's all we need to do here. Now, we still need to create the border, and as you can see, I already have this border, and that's very simply done by using the border tab, like so. And just check one of the tabs here, whatever color you want, click here, and this is the edge width, so, I wouldn't make it too big, uh, and I keep the opacity at uh, full opacity at 100%, and the edge softness right down to zero, so it looks nice and hard. Now, you may be looking at this and not see the border, and you go, hey, why, why what's happening? Well, you may have this border offset off uh, slightly wrong, and I'll show you what I mean. If I move this, say, you, hopefully you can see as I move this, 
the border disappears. Is it disappearing? No, not yet. Yeah, it should disappear. <laughs> Look at that, it's just making a complete liar out of me. But that's okay. Uh, what I'm basically showing you here, if you do not see your border, just play with these controls here. Because these controls is what makes the border sit where you want it to sit. Why is this not working properly? Zero. Enter. Mmm. <laughs> I'm having issues with my Boris Graffiti. Oh, well. There you go. There's always something new when I do tutorials. Something will just not work properly. All right. Anyway, if you do not see the border, like I... Oh, I'm an idiot. I really am. <laughs> Sorry about this. I had it on path, and I should be on spline. Okay, and this... And should I restart my tutorial? No, nah, you'll, you'll work it out. So you can see now that the border is gone. So if I go back into z zero, and then it comes back. There you go. Now it's all working. For a second there, I was getting worried. So the border is back. So if you don't see it, use it here. Blah, 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 blah. Let's keep moving. Apply. Okay. All I need to do now is get rid of this chroma key, or the green, or the mask, I should say. And make sure I pick the green by using the eyedropper. And there we go. So, like I said before, if, um, if you've got the actor sitting here and one actor sitting here, it's, the effect is going to be a lot better. But ultimately, what we wanted to do was just show you how this was possible, and that's what we did now. As you can see, we created the exact same thing. So there you go, Hasni. I hope I said that name correct. And for all those watching, as always, thanks for watching.